everyone, I'm Samir Jayasoma, Senior Director and Balana Platform Architect at WSO2. I'm sure all the sessions you joined so far was informative and useful. Sanjeev and Jonathan talked about open source in general and WSO2's commitment to open source from day one. Asanka talked about WSO2 platform and how each component fits to or aligns with our open source goals. My talk is primarily on Ballerina and open source. I'll talk a little bit about the project's history. I'll give an introduction to Ballerina. I'll talk about how you can engage with the Ballerina community. And then towards the end, I'll talk a little bit about WSO2 and Ballerina and WSO2's commitment to Ballerina project. All right, let's get started. So Ballerina is an open source programming language designed and optimized for cloud native applications and integration use cases. It's a general purpose programming language. You can, of course, write a compiler with it. We are, we are anyway writing a compiler. That's our end Ballerina project. But as I said, it is primarily designed for integrations and cloud native applications or networked applications. We started the project back in 2016. At that time, the code, code name was NEL, New ESB Language. Uh, we had a product called w 0 esb and now we have w 0 mi which is a bit more modern, lightweight, and container-friendly version of w 0 esb So the ESB or MI use Apache Access 2 and Apache Synapse underneath. Um, Synapse has this uh, XML-based DSL and MI or ESB uses this XML language to serialize the integration diagram. So the goal of Ballerina is to come up with a bit more modern, developer-friendly language to replace this XML-based DSL. And that's how the project got started. And we released a first table version back in 2022. We call that Ballerina Swan Lake. And with that release, we made a commitment to maintain backward compatibility as well. Ballerina is completely an open source project. We maintain everything in Ballerina dash platform GitHub organization. If you visit that organization, you will find all the repositories, including the repository where we maintain the Ballerina language specification, Ballerina compiler and runtime code, and all library packages in the standard library and all other tooling. So we use the multi-repo structure in Ballerina. Um, if a component can be released independently and version independently, then we usually um, maintain that component in a separate repository. And when we build the final distribution of Ballerina, we combine the latest version of all the components and release a distribution. If you're interested in contributing to Ballerina, especially code contribution, documentation, or even issues. Um, this GitHub organization um, is the place to start. And now let's talk a little bit about Ballerina, why it is unique from other languages. So when you take a look at all the abstractions that are there in Ballerina, all the unique abstractions, you can categorize them into three buckets. We call them networking, data and types, and concurrency. There are networking concepts. The networking concepts are represented as first-class citizens in Ballina. The concepts such as services, high-level constructs such as services, clients or connectors, and network interactions. Services represent a network entry point into a program, and connectors represent connectors or client represent basically uh, communication between a backend system. So connect, you can think of connectors as they can bring data into an integration or a program, or they you can use connector to send data out of an integration or a program, right? And then when you talk about network applications, mostly it's all about data. So Ballerina's focus on plain data um, helps you to simplify uh, data manipulation and how do you represent network data such as JSON XML uh, within the Ballina program. 
The last bucket is uh, concurrency. Balna comes up with uh, simple but powerful uh, concurrency constructs so that you can focus on writing uh, code that you need to execute concurrently. And all these abstractions uh, are there, but at the same time, there are many supportive features such as transactions, language integrated query, XML, uh, database support, uh, error handling, and all these features together make Balina powerful and unique language among others. Balina platform contains a comprehensive set of visual tools to help you write integrations. When you think about, uh, let's say, the abstractions, especially networking and concurrency, because of the programming language abstractions, it is much easier to visualize your code as a sequence diagram and a flowchart. And based on all these abstractions, we have come up with a various set of visual tools uh, to simplify the development of your integrations. These tools can help you to transform data easily. These tools can help you to visualize the integrations that you have done. Uh, you can come back in six months and you can still see the same picture. The reason is the picture is the code and code is the picture. There is a bi-directional mapping between code and the diagrams. And I that's one of the unique capabilities in the language and, uh, and the platform. Apart from these visual tools, we also have command line tools. If you are, if you are a command line fan, fan you can use uh, our command line tools to uh, automate certain tasks. Next, let's talk a bit about the Balana community and how you can engage with us. The community page on our website is the best place to get started. Uh, there are various ways and various channels to engage with us. If you are someone who would like to host a meetup group in your area, we are more than happy to help you. Just drop an email, uh, we'll contact you. If you are a Balna user, uh, you can follow us on Twitter, you can follow us on link, LinkedIn, you can, there are, we have a YouTube channel. And also if you have questions, technical questions about Ballerina and you can't find answers, in the documentation, you're more than welcome to join our Discord server. We have an active community there. And if you if you want to contribute to Ballerina, documentation, GitHub issues, even code contributions, you can always join our GitHub organization, or you can contact us in the Discord server. We, we are more than happy to help you. Let's talk a bit about WC2 and Ballerina and this relationship. WC2 is the primary contributor of the Banner project. It is the company that started the project uh, at the beginning. Uh, not only that, WC2 is heavily invested in Ballerina because it uses Ballerina internally. One example is our internal operations. All our internal systems are written in Ballerina. And we have a plan to open source that code base. So you will soon see how we are using Ballerina inside the company. The other example is WC2 Corio. Many system services in Corio are written in Ballerina. And we have published two case studies explaining how uh, WC2 uses Ballerina in detail. You can find them on our website. The other thing is WC2 is also committed uh, let's say you want to use Ballerina in your organization, in your project, in your company, and you are looking for training, development support, or when you're when you're running in production, you need uh, you're looking for production support. WSO is committed to provide that. You can talk to us on that. We have a dedicated uh, Ballerina support team, uh, including the core members co Balna team members. All right, that's about Ballerina. I hope you'll enjoy the next sessions. Um, thank you.